In today's Dragon Dogma 2 video, we'll be going over some of the best rings that you should be looking at for very early game in order to make yourself powerful and have a great start to your adventure. These can all be picked up relatively early, and the first one we're going to be looking at is going to be just here over in the town of Melv. You're going to be able to speak to the person just at the very start of the town, and he's going to have some tasty rings for you to go over. The Ring of Resolution can actually be pretty nice when you're tackling some of those smaller enemies because it means the wearer is less likely to get staggered. However, if you're after a bit more damage, I would say the Ring of Aggression is going to be definitely worth it for almost every class except for probably mages, because it's going to give you a whopping 30 added onto your strength. Now this might not sound like much, but remember it does factor into your damage, and I'd say in general it's probably going to give you around about a 10% increase to your damage output, so it's definitely worth it if you're going for those big old hefty swings. Make your way a little bit further into the town of Melv, and you're going to be greeted by this lady just here, the young girl Flora, who's going to give you a little quest that's very easy to complete. Head into the apothecary right next to her, buy yourself some fruit rubberant, and then you're going to be rewarded with a little bit of XP, a little bit of gold, and the ring of exaltation that will give you an extra 100 health to your character when it's equipped. Now the next town we're going to be looking at is going to be the town of Vernworth. This is a straight down from Melv and you can take an ox cart straight to it. Once here we're going to be going over to Bjorn's armory and he's got a ring that's definitely worth knowing about if you're worried about your kind of carrying capacity. And that's going to be the ring of accrual. This is going to give you 5 extra to your weight limit and even though it doesn't sound like much that can really help you out early game especially if you're struggling to pick up things such as tents or hold on to any resources. Going over to the guild in Venworth and this time we're going to be looking at the Seekers token shop and this ring is absolutely amazing. Try and save up for this, Seeker tokens aren't actually that hard to get hold of early game, especially if you're just after about 15 of them. Ring of Triumph is one of the very best rings in the game and once you acquire this you may well keep it on till the very end of it. Hop over the bar and as well you'll be greeted with another free ring, the Ring of Exaltation again. The great thing about this is I learned that they stack, so now you'll be able to put both of them on, giving you a whopping 200 HP, nice and easy, really early on. If however you're after even more HP, and you want a little adventure, then this ring is going to be the one for you, but it will be a little bit harder to get hold of. And that's going to be the Ring of Accumation. Again from Vernworth, you're going to head out the west exit, right next to the Oxcart station, but you're going to be going on foot. You're going to want to head in this direction just here, all the way up to the road until it forks off to the left. Then you're going to make your way all the way down and around. Keep heading left until you see this checkpoint just here. It's going to be a bit of a rocky terrain, but you will be able to make it even if you're very early on in your game, with pretty much minimal unlocked and your characters aren't that kitted out. So just here we're going to have a bridge, which will show you if you're heading in the right direction. Then a little bit further on from there, you're going to keep making your way through tackle a couple of enemies and you'll see another bridge by a campsite. At this point make your way across the bridge and then you want to take a look at this little rocky terrain to your right and make your way up to the very top. Be careful though as there is a ridiculously big enemy up here, it's going to be one of the griffins. If you don't want to tackle him just completely run past him. Which is what I did because he had about 4 health bars and will take an awful long time to take down. Keep heading over here until you see a little wooden shack and take out the smaller enemies that are right by it. Head inside and you'll be able to grab out a few nice items such as a camping bag and some gold and silver ore, allowing you to get a nice bit of money. From there you're going to be able to make your way just down the rocky terrain in front of yourself and once you get down a little bit further you'll be able to see the shack that we're after all the way at the very bottom. This is not completely easy though, you can't just make your way inside because it looks like it's locked from the inside. Some classes may well be able to get in here, such as the mage using levitate, but if you're a class that can't manage to, or you haven't unlocked that ability yet, then you're going to want to hug the cliff face in, go all the way around to the left, make your way until you see this right here where you're able to climb up it, keep going all the way across, and then you'll be able to see the shack from another angle, and it's got a hole in the roof allowing you to make your way into. Take a run and hop, jump through the roof, and then you'll be able to grab up this nice tasty ring. Honestly, a little bit tougher than some of the other ones that you can buy from shops, but this is probably one of the better rings in the game. It's the highest HP ring I've currently seen, giving you 200 as soon as you equip it. So if you can find two of these, you're going to have 400 extra HP which is absolutely massive. Right, hopefully that's helped a few of you guys and girls out. Let me know in the comments what class you'll really enjoy playing. Currently, I'm enjoying the Mystic Spear Hand, and next up I'm going to be trying the Warrior. As always, Wolfins Gaming, take care. I'll see you on next day.